Hello there. I am here to answer your comments. Starting with this one. I never thought I'd miss the shit game. What a good times. Um, yeah, sounds about right. I've missed the game to be honest. I've been brain rotting and hell loose though. Oh, I'm lucky. I tried both, but World of Tanks just tickled brain more. Um, that's fair, man. Whatever tickles your brain. What I miss is the RTS part of HAG. The feeling that when you win a battle it actually serves a bigger purpose than your score. Um, I agree. It's kind of one of the things that actually ruined FPS games for me. Before I played HNG, I played FPS games mainly to progress, you know, unlock better guns, unlock more equipment and all that, but there was no end goal. With HNG, it made it so that, hey, I'm playing to get more XP so that I can level up, so I can get more command points, more ATs, blah, 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 and all that. And also the fights that you fight on the war map, they decide who wins the war. I mean, it's been one year since the game died, over one year. I'm pretty sure there are still HNG vets that to this day still brag about some war they won like three, four years ago. Uh, I agree with Spicy Death that Plant Side is kind of like HNG because when you drop in a battle in a location in planet side 2 it's a location on the actual world map uh and if you win that part that part then will belong to your faction you know it's a persistent map but there's no rts in it there's no overarching control like you don't have assault teams you don't i don't think you have like commanders at least that's what i remember from the last time i played planet side like i don't know seven years ago you sound like the snail got your soul just like mine um sorry about that but no not yet not yet working on it though war thunder does not do it for me hing was my replacement for oh unlucky man that's really unlucky i don't know what to say to that just liquid unluck the simplicity and fun of hng cannot be replaced rip hng indeed man indeed i didn't find any real replacement either but video games have not been that fun for me recently anyways Nibrix, I'm sorry to hear about that, man. If it gets to that point, then you should probably just take a break from video games in general and go do something IRL. In time, if you come back to video games, you're going to start enjoying them again. I think War Thunder is not a good recommendation to play HNG. I have thousands of hours in it, and it just doesn't feel right. I would suggest playing side 2. However, the game's survival is also questionable. Hmm. But it has similar mechanics, like spawn trucks, team play, similar time to kill, weapon modding. If you are looking for an FPS that has similar gameplay style and objective as HG, I would say Planet Side is a solid choice. I think that was before I made the last video I made where I explained that War Thunder isn't a like for like replacement for HG. I'm just simply stating if you like tank combat, if you like World War II tank combat, then War Thunder will scratch that itch for you. Uh, I agree with you that Planet Side is r kind of resembles the gameplay of HNG of the combined arms but so does like i don't know half a dozen or two dozen other games plus it's not a world war ii game as for like the survival of the game being also questionable i don't know anything about that if you guys know anything about that then please let me know i would hate if i start playing this game and then it just shuts down about war thunder i was quite an active player a few months ago and i have finally completed usa to 11.7 tanks and 9.3 for france tanks if you are planning on playing free to play you will make roughly 250 thousand research points per match through roughly two kills and two assists the total rp cost of a single 10 and with that amount of research points it will take you 45 hours of continuous play to unlock a single rank 10 tank from 9.7 so what he's saying is that when you get to like the rank the higher ranks it's really really difficult to go from one tank to the other if you're playing free to play um i have never bought uh, premium in war thunder i don't plan to i don't like to spend money in games you're doing it wrong you're supposed to worship the snail until you get to press the count with everything unlocked uh hmm speaking from experience are we i just try not to have any eye contact with the snail it's pretty tough to find something to replace HNG indeed. Unless it doesn't hit the same and Hill at Loose is way less arcadey. I agree about Hill at Loose. I guess I'll wait for Beyond Heroes Project or Warbound to come out if they ever will. If they ever will indeed. I wish someone would make an HNG mod for enlisted with HNG maps, etc. Uh, that would be something, wouldn't it? As per recommendations, I say the HNG player should defeat his fear of milsims and give Hill at Loose a try for a World War II experience. Squad for more than one. If you're feeling adventurous, maybe even jump into Project Reality. Wait for a new version of World War II Online. Well, I don't necessarily agree that Milsim is the way to go, because it's not simply for everybody. Like, there are people that liked to play slow in HNG. For them, Milsim games would be a good choice, but for those of us that wanted to play the arcadey part of HNG, Hell at Loose is not for them, man. It's gonna be very difficult to transition, and Hell at Loose is only the least Milsim out there. 
I mean, you look at Squad 44 or Squad, and it's probably even more Mill Semi than Hell It Loose. But still, if you're into like slow gameplay, methodical and team play, then yeah, those games for sure, you should try them. They're paid though, so you should probably not jump into them until you were 100% sure you actually like the gameplay. I switched to Elicit for quite a long time, but I'm a little tired of the game at the moment. But I'd go back to Elicit if I get the itch. Fair. They've recently reworked or researched trees. It also the same people as War Thunder. Yeah, the snail people. Guys, trust me and try Enlisted. It's literally the mix of HNG and War Thunder and it's made by the same studio. Haha. <laughs> yeah, if you just like killing bots and not actually players <laughs> in a PvP game and want even worse grind than War Thunder. Well, I mean, what am I supposed to do here? You look at this comment and then you look at this comment. Which which one am I supposed to believe in this situation, huh? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to see for myself soon enough anyways. Enlisted looks like a good replacement, but turns it's much worse worse both gameplay wise and microtransactions uh, this this right there see what i mean if you like war thunder you should try out enlisted it's made by the same developers and has playable infantry uh, i'm probably gonna end up trying it anyways like i said and i explained before in my previous video i am committed to this quest of just trying to find something to replace hng or multiple somethings so i guess my road will eventually take me to enlisted one way or another mm, still looking played enlisted for about a month and gave up i think i had like three four thousand what the hell? Three, four thousand hours into the game since like 2015, 2016 before it was on Steam. Uh, what? Okay, I, I had a little bit of brain lag there. I'm pretty sure that second part of the sentence that was about HNG. It's unreal how I miss HNG and Gloria Victus, both scummy, shitty devs and money pet, but still would play those two. That right there should tell you everything you need to know about us gamers. We just take abuse and we keep coming back. I actually was interested in Gloria Victus a while back before uh, Banner Lords 2 came out. I wanted something to scratch that Mountain Blade itch. I'm guessing that says that the game is shut down. Good thing I never bought it then. Break War Thunder, dude, it's worse than HNG. Okay, fantastic. I'll try to find something that's a little bit easier on the grind for you. The fun about HNG was that you could play with tanks, infantry, and planes and had the freedom to go where you want. And that you could win a seemingly unwinnable battle by generals adding a specialist class and players using them well. That right there is the rare situation that literally would happen once every 10,000 battles probably in HNG. Hello? Have you played HNG, sir? Because the way I look at it, when generals put something in the battle, players just abuse it and throw it away and they don't use it well. Uh, uh, bro, why try War Thunder? At least try Enlisted, it's at least similar to HNG. I think I already explained this before. I think Enlisted is pretty much HNG with good graphics. It even is also a snail game, so you also get the abusive relationship element. <laughs> True. For those of you feeling nostalgic about the HNG uh, abusive relationship with Rito, I guess you get the same with the snail. So there you go. Silver lining, everyone. The devs really screwed the pooch on that one. 1000 hours logged, I still miss it. The gameplay was not even that good, I just wanted back. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. That's the average HD player reaction right there. It's a bad game, terrible graphics, annoying gameplay. Can I please? be able to play it again. The game I found similar to HNG was Battlebit, played for about 180 hours now, and I do enjoy the simplistic meat grinder that HNG Fortress sometimes turned to. He's talking about, uh, what's it called? Oh, the encounter map, I forgot its name. Still, there's no variety of modes, gameplays, and approaches to that game, yet for former HNG players, there be something interesting. Battle bit. Hmm, interesting. I never looked at it as a HNG replacement. I guess I'm gonna have to add it to my list. Thank you, sir, for the contribution. Planet Side 2. Try Planet Side 2, guys. I am not saying it's very good. Wow, perfect, etc, etc. But if you had fun with Hug, I am sure you will enjoy Planet Side 2 if you give it a chance. We'll add it to the list, man. Although the, the comment that came before saying that it probably will die soon. You know, it, it doesn't really encourage me to try it. I got hooked on the list in the previous month and I kind of like it. Fair play, man. Happy for you, as long as you're having fun. No, please, as a long-time viewer, long-time HNG player and misser. And long-time War Thunder free-to-play player, melee ground. Please, don't do this to them. Don't sell them to the snail. Hey, man, I warned them. If you're gonna approach the snail game, do it at your own peril and don't look the snail in the eyes. How about some Red Orchestra 2? Oh, and I have replaced it with Rising Storm 2. Of course you have, of course. As for Red Orchestra 2, it could actually work, yeah. Uh, it's a good World uh, War 2 game, I guess. I might give it a try. True, but I play World of Tanks instead. Really toxic, but addicting playing since 2011. His name is Blackjack Cocaine. Figures. What made HNG fun for me can be boiled down to two factors. The assault lines, 
As far as I know, other games like Battlefield 1 or Rising Storm 2 Vietnam have game modes that are similar to the one line being active but without the back and forth. Uh, I think Battlefield 1 has the back and forth too, kinda. There's an objective that unlocks and whoever gets it gets to attack the next objective, you know, and then you push back the other team all the way to like two bases. If you blow them up, you win the game. I think that's called Rush, if I remember correctly. That's probably one of my favorite game modes ever in Battlefield 1. Man, I should play Battlefield 1, it's a good ass game. 2. The asymmetric gameplay, both in weapons being unique to factions and resources being uneven in war battles. True. HNG had that going for it. For me, asymmetric gameplay, generally speaking, whether about whether it's been about weapons or resources, one was one of the most annoying things about HNG. But at the same time, it was a unique factor that no other games have ever done and probably will never do for good reasons you know balance but hey free to don't care about balance but somehow that actually worked in their favor because it made their game unique in a way that other games are not h and g we miss you you like it when it hurts you all do hey now champion don't you go on saying you like it you like it just as much as we do buddy and you know it as much as i hate to say it there is no replacement for h and g h and g is one of those games that we all love to hate until it was actually gone well said man well said but that doesn't mean we should stop looking for a replacement. In this case, I will be doing the looking and I will tell you guys when I do find it so that you don't have to go through the shit I will go through. You're welcome.